Good morning and welcome to Brunch with Brian daily live stream, your morning helping of success thinking. Did you miss me? I'm a little bit late this morning and I hope you hung in and I hope you're still with me because I have a lot of really great things to talk about today. Actually, we have so many fun things to talk about today. Uh, and guess what? It's International Chess Day. And so we have the seven life tips from chess. Okay, seven life tips from chess. And so I want you to really focus because I've learned a lot about chess, actually. I've learned a lot about life from chess. And there's a lot of really great lessons from chess. And uh, it helps with real estate. It helps with negotiating. It helps with uh, just about everything that you do. Uh, it helps you to think more clearly if you can remember some of the messages from chess. So who's a chess player? Are you a chess player? And now this is kind of a famous story, but I taught, we went on a Rhine River cruise with Ron and Ron Legrand, of course. And so Ron and uh, had never played chess before. And they had one of those big, huge chess boards on the cruise ship. And uh, so I taught Lynette and Ron how to play chess. And they had some really nice, uh, they also had a nice indoor chess board. So they got really into playing chess. And then every time at lots and lots of events, if Lynette and Ron had a little bit of time on the first morning before we started, they would sit down and play chess. There's a lot of chess boards. A lot of hotels have chess boards and, and Lynette would bring a little travel chess board with her every time. So they'd always have a way to play chess. So I thought that was really cool. Now I'm gonna to get to these seven tips of chess, but there's an important, uh, very important date that we honor in history today, and that is the day we landed on the moon. It's actually National Moon Day. Uh, some people say National Moon Landing Day, same thing. It's also National Space Exploration Day. So those things were all tied together and that's really cool, you know. Uh, you know, I heard about this one astronaut actually who uh, had really bad claustrophobia, but uh, he was okay. He just needed a little space. Okay, so let's start our smile. So we have to smile every day. That's our joke for the day. And since it's International Space Exploration and National Moon Day, you can tell your friends that joke. Uh, did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? He just needed a little space. So put a smile on your face and we start with our smile always and keep a smile going all the time. You know what? I don't really talk about this aspect of it as much, but other people enjoy seeing you with a smile. I mean, it really makes other people's days nicer when they see you with a smile. So not only I usually talk about all the psychological and emotional good that it does you, but it also does good things for other people. And then that redounds back to you. Can you imagine, you know, you're walking along and you have a nice smile on your face and then someone sees your smile and then they smile back and that makes you feel even better. So smiles are contagious. And so let's do our deep breathing and keep your smile going during that. And then we're gonna talk about these seven tips, uh, seven life, life tips from tennis and I, uh, from chess. And then I have some other things to talk about too. So let's do our deep breathing, ready? Deep breath in, hold it a sec, oh. and let it out. I had a really nice walk this morning with Trinity and the dogs. That was a nice little exercise. We love our morning rituals. If you can get out and get some exercise and always get your deep breathing going. Okay, ready? Deep breathe in, hold it and You know, even when I'm talking, you can keep deep breathing during this part. Even you can do more than three deep breaths. Okay, and last one, ready, deep breathe in. Keep the smile on your face. Mm. And let it out, let, let go of all tension, negativity, anything. Super positive today. Today is a fun day, super positive. I'm gonna just whip through, so there's some really special things about today uh, that mean to, stuff to me. Uh, International Moon Day because wolves howl at the moon. So a lot of the pictures that you see of wolves, it's there's a moon in there. So International Moon Day. And there's also a really good movie that I will recommend to you with Sam Rockwell called Moon. It's, it's a little creepy if you like sci-fi stuff with a little creepy edge. Uh, it's really, really good. Moon, but with, uh, that was really good, came out a few years ago. Uh, 
Hank Aaron hit his 755th homer today. Alexander the Great's birthday. Um, Global Hug Your Kids Day. Nap Day. And so Fortune Cookie Day. All kind of days. And there's it's National Jump Day. Normally, I would have to jump and do that still frame where I'm jumping today. But there's so many other days today. International Chess Day and National Moon Day. And uh, it was so important. And here's something that means something to me. And I don't know if it's going to mean that much to you. But Bruce Lee died today in 1973. And I love Bruce Lee. Actually, to this day, I wear Bruce Lee shoes. That's the shoes I got. I get them. Uh, and I love these shoes. I get them from Alibaba. And they're really cool. And I wear them all the time. And I think of Bruce Lee. And so I made karate movies when I was young. I took karate. And so we made, I have an hour long karate movie that we made when we were, when I was about, I don't know, 13 or 14. So we got some really, I, I always have a real special place in my heart for Bruce Lee. So uh, that's kind of special. He died today. Now, seven tips. So what's this here, guys? Yeah, here's our chessboard. This is the chessboard we normally play with. I really like this is a really nice chessboard. Uh, it reminds me of the board my dad had when I was growing up because I played chess when I was growing up. And so what are the seven lessons of chess? Okay, the first lesson, okay, write these down. Okay, I want you to write these down. Um, the first lesson of chess is to start with a proactive strategy. Okay, now these are life lessons. Write down a heading, life lessons from chess. Now, hope, maybe you're a chess player, maybe you're not, but definitely these are life lessons you can learn from chess. Okay, so start with a proactive strategy. Don't just start going in. Know what you're going to do. You know, know your first few moves. Know how you normally start your game. I always had the same start of every game. I would always build, I would always castle. So my first moves were like this, this, and then I'd bring out my knight and I'd castle. See? like that. So what is that? That is number two, which is build a strong defense. Okay, so this is a nice strongly defended area here. So that's what I want you guys to do is have a strong defense. Now that we all have a lot to lose in life. So you want to, you know, be careful, have a strong defense in your life and have insurance and take care of yourself and try to stay safe and everything. Everything you have is so build a strong defense and that's early. Start with a proactive strategy. Know what you're going to do going in, just like life. Build a strong defense. Okay, number three, understand and wisely use your tools. So some people don't know how to use a knight. Some people don't know that a knight is basically does this L shape with one, you know, two forward, one sideways or side, you know, whatever, like a little L shape. So when you understand your tools in life, now most of you guys use the tools of our what to say system our social media system, and some of these other systems to get the results. So like if you understand how to use your tools, obviously you're going to be a lot stronger. I keep moving that side. So especially your queen. Boy, if you understand how to use your queen, and you know what? That's like your what to say and what to do. That's your strongest piece of your puzzle because that gives you all your scripts and checklists. Okay, so understand your tools and how to use them wisely. Okay, number four, play to win. Play to win. Don't just react to everything they do and try to not lose pieces. Play to win. You got to go get them. Write that down. Go get them. Sometimes you have to be a little aggressive and go get it. Okay, so play to win. Focus on winning. Okay, number five, when you have to give something, okay, you're losing a piece, get something. So let's say, you know, you're going to lose your rook over here because they're attacking it and they're going to get that. Well, over here, you, you know, go get their rook. So sometimes you'll think, oh, no, there's no way I'm going to be able to save this piece. He's going to, there, he's, there's no way, you know, I'm going to definitely lose this piece because he's got like a, two attacks on it and he can't get away. Well, just look, look around the board and say, well, where is he vulnerable or she? You know, where, where could I grab a piece while they're get busy getting that piece? So if you're going to lose something, get something. That's a key in our negotiating. Now, we teach... 33 negotiating techniques for real estate investing, and that's one of them. If you have to give something up, get something back. Okay, don't forget that. And sometimes that's exactly how it plays out. Okay, number six, uh, this is really important. Be gracious in victory or defeat. Okay, sometimes you'll lose a deal. 
Sometimes you don't get the deal, somebody else gets it, but you call the seller back and you say, oh, I understand, you be super nice, be gracious in victory. And if, when you win, nobody, it's the worst thing in the world is a, is a winner who you know shoves it in your face. So uh, the worst things in the world is a sore loser and a bad winner. And so you wanna be gracious when you win and nice about it. And you also wanna be, uh, you know, when you lose, just remember you never really lose. You're always somehow, well, yeah, sometimes you lose out on a deal, but that person might be a great referral source for some future deal or some other thing. So always play nice and, and be gracious in victory and defeat. And number seven, big number seven, very important, learn from every game. Learn from every contest, if you want to put it that way, or learn from every battle, you know, and every little real estate battle you ever have, you know, you're going to go through these real estate battles. And when you go through them, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. You don't have, you only have to win one, a, one a month. I mean, if you win one a month, like get one pretty house, you can lose a lot of chess games and still come out ahead, way, way, way ahead. And that's a great thing. So uh, whether you win or lose, try to learn, take notes. You know, when you miss out on a deal or you, you know what went wrong on a deal, take notes. And so you learn and get smarter. And that's all of life. Everything you do, anytime you win or lose something, you know, if you stop and think and do a little bit of a autopsy, a little rehash, a little under, you know, a little, uh, uh, recap of what happened, it's really instrumental for your learning process and very, very helpful. So that's the seven tips. If you didn't write them all down one more time, really fast. Number one, start with a proactive strategy Two, build a strong defense. Three, understand your tools and use them wisely. Four, play to win, focus on winning. Number five, when you have to give something, get something. Number six, be gracious in victory or defeat. And number seven, learn from every contest. So guys, chess, I love chess. And uh, today's International Chess Day. So we had some really interesting stuff today on Brunch with Brian. And we're going to call it right there. So guys, until next time, keep expecting success. Keep taking action and keep on smiling. See you tomorrow.